so we're here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Myself, Stacia, and Sarah Geeter. We're here at Founders Nail Burial Site. The three of us are representing the founders of Phi Beta Sigma, the three men that helped form Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. And each one of us have five roses to represent our five pearls. Whew, we're out of breath because we had to walk here and it is cold. When I say it is cold here, it is 37 degrees and cold. Even though I'm from New York, that means absolutely positively nothing. It is freezing here. But it's an honor to be here today, our centennial weekend, to pay homage to our founder. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to say, give a reason as to why each one of us became members of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Why you start with me? Because okay. I'm going to cry. So my journey began in spring of 1992 with the Theta Gamma chapter at Barbara Scotia College in Concord, North Carolina. Um, I was introduced to Zeta by one of my BFFs um, since sixth grade, her mom, Hattie Tom, Sarah Hattie Toms. And every time I saw her, she was finer. And then when I got to the campus, there was a line uh, where our triumphant Sarah um, Kathy Jackson Platt was one of the um, leading people. And when I saw them, I just saw beauty. I saw beauty, I saw elegance, I saw regal. And then when I learned more about the organization, um, discretion and class, all of that came into play. My nose is trying to run, Jesus. <laughs> Bless the Lord. And so as I began to watch everybody, all of the different, we, we had Delta, we had AKA, and we had Zeta. And once I watched them and observed them, observed them for a little while, what I realized was that there was none greater than the royal family and then with it being royal blue and white and that was my favorite color anyway and i thought yes and then i found out we had constitutionally bound brothers amen I thought, whoa amen. God, what? so it couldn't be anything else why because we're second to none and so here i stand in um, january of 2020 this will be my 28th year on um, this year and i'm still as excited as i was in spring 92 today all right. Hi, everyone. I'm Tara Thomas. Um, I became interested in Zeta in 2001. I was actually interested before, but I actually joined in 2001. Um, so our Teresa James um, introduced me to um, our chapter. Um, as I was an undergraduate in college, I always looked around and, you know, did a little research to see where I actually fed in and where I wanted to be. Um, I fell in love with Zeta, and that's what I did. I did reach out to Teresa James, and that's how I became a Zeta. Oh, so you can record me. Let me stand over here because it's pretty early. Yeah. St. Louis, Missouri. And that was my very first relay that I've ever attended. And when I walked into that conference room and all I saw was a sea of royal blue and white, I fell in love. And I'm tearing up now. Um, I never had an older sister. I only have an older brother. And so, um, and I have four younger sisters. So I joined Zeta because of the service that we do in the community. And I wanted to be those finer women that I saw in 1990. So I became a Zeta spring of 1993, Kappa Beta at Benedict College, and I'm still in love as I was back in the 80s. So what should we say now? <laughs> we're excited and we're glad that Glenda told us about it yes. so that we could come and join in into the blue fun. Amen. So we're going to just go ahead and lay our flowers here to represent our founders in Five Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. Thank you so much. And if you ever get a chance to come here, it is so 
beautiful and heartwarming and precious. We love you.